Hey everybody, this is going to be kind of a different type of video. Um, I've gone back and forth on whether to do this. I thought maybe people won't get it. And then ultimately it just kept coming back into my mind. So I thought I need to do this. And these are little aspects about my makeup routine that just really make me happy. These are truly like little things. When I start talking about them, you're going to be like, oh, these things don't really apply to like how something looks on my face or anything like that but it's more about the actual process and the experience of doing makeup every day. And that's an experience that I really appreciate. Um, I don't see it as a burden. I never have. Even when I was waking up at one in the morning to get up and do the news, I still saw doing my makeup as something that I got to do rather than something I had to do. And that continues even to this day, you know, having a child. I still like look forward to getting to sit down and be surrounded by my makeup and, you know, have the chance to do that. And I really think of these little things that I'm going to talk about, I would call them gratitude triggers. They are little bitty things that I do. And anytime I do them, it really triggers a thought in my mind of, I'm so grateful that I'm doing this right now. Grateful that I'm able, grateful just to to be here in this moment right now. It really is those little things that put you right back in that present moment. Hence this little card that some of you have seen in the background of my videos. I made this years ago. It was something Oprah said, be present, live in the current moment, be fully here with whatever you're doing, not anticipating and worrying about the things that are going to happen, not stewing about the things that already have happened. And we can all get caught up in that. And I get that way too. I'm very much a person who anticipates or gets a little nervous about something that I know I'm going to have to do but if I can stay rooted in what's currently happening, that's where I'm happiest and that's where my thinking is the most clear. I know this is seeming like it's getting really deep for a makeup video, but it's appreciating the little things. It's enjoying the experience. It's not just doing makeup for the finished look, which is great, you know, it's great to have that end result. But for me, just as much as that, I enjoy just putting the stuff on and going through the process. Kind of reminds me of my dad and the way he is with golf. He'll talk about how he just likes the same Sound, the club hitting the ball or the smell of the grass or all these little things and that's really what it's all about when you love something. So the first thing that I've got to tell you about, the most pleasing thing, the most happy little makeup thing is a magnetic lipstick closure. I mean, oh, that is, how? How? How is it so amazing? But it is. This is an Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy lipstick. These are some of the best. So this is Impulsa. This is a great light pink shade, but regardless of what color you have, that magnetic closure, whoo! I just love the way it feels in my hand, the weight of the product the snap shut, there's something so satisfying about that. And I have other like palettes and things that have a magnetic closure on them, but there's nothing quite as satisfying as the magnetic closure lipstick. <laughs> second thing that really gets me going and it's really one of the first things I do when I enter this room it's turning on this light this vanity light behind me there's this little like metal knob and it has just a little bit of resistance as you turn it and then ping you hear this little tick and my lights come on and I just I love that feeling um, this was a mirror that I remember Tyler got for me as a gift back when we were in our last house shortly after we moved I think it was it might have been like 2010 2011 or something like that and I have loved this mirror so much and it just makes me feel good every time I turn that little knob I think about it every time here's something that I think is incredibly satisfying um, when a q-tip with like one little swipe actually removes the problem. Like you don't have to work at it. You don't make a bigger smudge out of it. Like something fell down there or something got smeared a little bit. And then with your Q-tip, boom, it like actually took the problem away with one sweep. I'm not ragging on Q-tips because they have saved me in so many circumstances, but there are some times where it's like, eh, okay, good enough. I'll bring in some makeup. I'll cover it up. I'll redo it. But the times when the Q-tip just really saves you with the one stroke, that is just, ooh, I love that. Is anybody else with me on the joy of a retractable brush? I just... <laughs> There's something about it. I think it's the physical opening of the product, but also the knowledge that that brush is living in this little tube and then it's going to be perfectly shaped every time you undo that thing. I mean, I'm just... I love that idea. I think it's a great concept. I mean, just for practical purposes, it's really easy to throw something like that in your bag and the brush doesn't get messed up. But just... I love that. That movement. That process. 
Mm. There are probably some people watching this video who think I'm crazy, and you know what? I don't care. This particular retractable brush is from Up and Up. I'm planning to do a big Up and Up brush video soon, so um, this was one new one that I was testing out, and as you can tell, I like it. I am a big scent person, and one, I think, part of the makeup experience that has recently just appealed to me so much is the Rose Setting Mist. I have several different kinds. I've got one from MAC. I've got a bunch of different brands that I talked about in my rose product video. Um, this one from Glossier is, continues to be one of my favorites. And just that, that fine mist that feels first off really refreshing, but the rose scent that follows, I mean, literally, stop and smell the roses. Like it's just such a nice kind of soothing, calming, yet refreshing type of thing. I don't know, it just puts me in a good place. And anytime I think of that phrase, it, it makes me think of my friend Kaylee. She's always like, she used to always say like, oh, I'm in a good place right now. And that's what this makes me think of. Okay, just a couple more things here. I wish I had one that I could demonstrate this on because then we could really just enjoy this together. But you know, when you get a new palette and there's like that film over the mirror and you peel that film off, I love that. I would like to just hire out to remove those for everyone because I could do that thing all day, you know? <laughs> it feels so good. And then you got this perfection mirror behind it. I don't know. The last thing that I'm gonna mention that really satisfies me, really makes me happy is when um, you've got a product, okay? And you know the pan that the product is sitting in has some sort of texture on it. Like for example, rings like that. And for a while when you're using a product, it's like you can start to tell that hitting pan is imminent because you can see that texture of whatever is on the bottom pan. You can kind of see that coming through to the powder. You haven't hit pan yet, but you can tell it's coming. And then you finally do. I love that. I love like feeling like, okay, you know, I've really used a lot of this product now. And then boom, I can finally see through to the pan. In a sense that can be bittersweet, especially if you're using like a discontinued product or something you can't get your hands on anymore. But for the person who has and uses a lot of makeup, it's almost like validation. Like, yes, I can, you know, nearly use something up actually, even with all this stuff. And there are some products like mascaras or different things in tubes where you can't really see that you're totally using it up, it just gradually starts to dry out on you. That's no fun for me. I like to be able to see like, okay, I'm starting to see like a little outline of some rings here on this bronzer or whatever it might be. And then you finally go through to it. I like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, but uh, all I can think of is those are my happy little makeup things. Those are the things that as I go through the process of putting on makeup, they make me smile, they put positive thoughts in my head, and they are gratitude triggers. They make me think like, you know, look at this life. You can sit down, you can have time to do something like this. How grateful I am that I can do that. And a lot of times, you know, we do our makeup at the start of the day and those are great little feelings to get going in your mind, especially if something's a little hectic or something's not quite going your way or you've just had a really bad week or whatever. You know, you sit down and you do your makeup and it's kind of like, okay, I'm gonna refocus myself in a positive place. And it's just a, a series of all these little things that kind of put me there. So of course, I would love to hear in the comments section what your happy little makeup things are. Please, really what I want to hear is that I'm not alone in loving all these crazy little things like magnetic closures and retractable brushes and weird things like that. Again, it's fun to be working toward a finished look, but the real enjoyment lies, I think, in the little steps along the way for me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later. Bye.